In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I ranked on the first page of Google using a simple process and specific AI tools. And I do not want to show you anything and move forward until I give you proof. So here's one example of me ranking on an AI search just as perplexity. So you can see that I typed in how to double 10K. And this is an article that I wrote using the help of AI and Surfer SEO. You can see here that this article is populating and being sourced as one of the references for this specific search term. And then here's another example. So we have AI. AI side hustles as another search term. And I rank right next to entrepreneur, CNBC, and Shopify for this specific search term. You can see that I've been updating this article frequently. We have another one for Poppy AI Review, which is one of the tools that I use for my content writing. You can see here that I do rank on the first page of Google for the YouTube video. And I also am ranking on the actual product review for Poppy AI Review. We have another example here for AI UGC generators, and I am showing up on the first page of Google. So I believe that we are not in a world of SEO anymore with just search engine optimization. We are in a world of search everywhere optimization. And I really love that from Neil Patel. And that's what I'm hoping to show you and also sharing in this channel. Okay, so now we're gonna be using an AI tool to help me write my content and the same one I've been using that you've seen show up on the first page of Google. The tool that we're gonna be using is Poppy AI and essentially Poppy AI allows you to create content, whether it's for YouTube videos, blog posts, emails, social content. So I'm gonna be showing you a few different examples and how I write my articles and also how I'm ranking on AI overviews. But in order to get Poppy to actually write in your style, you need to create your brand voice. So the brand voice is gonna be built on all of my best performing YouTube videos and some of my most recent articles. So what I love about Poppy is that you can essentially drag and drop websites, blog posts, YouTube videos, text, and any other resources. We can enter that here and it's gonna start populating that data. So as you can see, the first step in my content creation business is I always need to have a brand voice and the brand voice is how I write human friendly content. So what I did here is what we created a group and I added in three of my best performing YouTube videos. I added in my about me section of my website and I added two recent articles that are ranking on the first page of Google. So I have this all connected into this chat here and then we're going to plug and play this AI profile exercise so I can get my exact writing style. And I'm going to say create my brand voice by using this voice profile and one important thing too is that I'm using Claude 3.7 Sonnet within Poppy, uh, and I think it's the most powerful. You can also just use the OpenAI models. So I'm just going to click on Enter and then get our brand voice. Cool. So you can see here that it's creating an entire voice profile for Eddie Ballesteros, which is me, and it's saying based on provided content from your YouTube videos, blog posts, and your website, I've created a comprehensive voice profile. What I also love about this is that it's going to give us a sample script in my voice just to make sure that it's actually working. So this is really good. I think this uh, works great. And I'm going to try one more sample, but I'm going to have it do a sample blog post. So I'm going to say write a sample blog post on a random topic using my brand voice. All right, so we got six best AI prompting engineering tools in 2025 that actually work. Want to create AI content that doesn't sound like everyone else's generic output? In 2025, prompt engineering tools have completely changed how creators interact with AI, but finding tools that actually deliver quality results can be frustrating. I've tested dozens of prompt engineering platforms and will show you exactly which ones are worth your time and money. Hey, I'm Eddie, and I've helped brands leverage AI to create content that converts. Let me walk you through the best options available right now. That is like the perfect intro for a blog post. And that is without me giving it any other information about the topic. So you can see that I'm actually very happy that this is working really well. And I think this is going to work amazing for all my future articles that I'm going to be writing to rank on the first page of Google uh, or any AI search engine. Okay, so now that I have the brand voice template, I went ahead and saved that as a Google Doc just so I can use it for any different use case. Let's say I'm adding it to another AI tool or I'm adding it uh, for maybe my clients if they want to use my brand voice and plug this back into Poppy AI. And I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop that file right into here. Click on done and it's going to go ahead and extract that text for us. And what I can also do is have this AI search optimization. So I want to show you what I've been doing for ranking on AI overviews and other search engine platforms. So I created a group here for AI search optimization and I added some relevant info from Google AI overviews. I also inputted a kind of resource here for an AI search example on chat GPT and what I want things to look like when I want to rank on that. And then I also included a little snippet from another website 
that tells you what you should do in order to rank for AI overviews. The reason why I want to show you this is because if I don't tell you why you're ranking or how this actually works in the back end, you're going to be going in blind and it's, there's no purpose for me to make these videos if you don't actually know what's happening in the back end. AI and featured snippets are a really important process of search engine results and it's gonna help you appear higher in AI-driven responses. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is a few key things. Number one, you wanna have concise, direct answers. So you wanna start with relevant sections and make them very brief, well-structured for the AI to source. This is gonna enhance the user experience and also align with the AI's preference for clear and immediate value. Next, you can actually also utilize list and tables to help you organize the data and AI can use that to extract structured data from these formats. This is going to help make things easier to present if you're especially for creating like a transactional post such as five best pickleball paddles or maybe you're doing a how-to article and you have that list structure that could be really helpful for the AI to source from. Then from there you want to make sure that you're using proper heading hierarchy so you need to ensure that your content is organized with descriptive headings and subheadings. So this is a blog post again, I've already showed you that I'm ranking on the first page of Google for a specific search term. Now, what I did in order to come up with the FAQ questions is there's a few different resources you can pull from. I have the FAQs here. How does AI UGC differ from traditional UGC? How are AI UGC ads different or are they worth it? All I did was I typed in the search query best AI UGC generators. And then I grab that URL. And what I like about Poppy is that once you have that URL, I can actually just insert that entire search result into Poppy and I can connect that into this group chat. And I'm gonna give it a simple prompt. And then what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna drag and connect my brand voice in here. I'm, all I'm gonna say is give me the most relevant FAQs on AI UGC generators and answer them to rank an AI search. I need you to also match my brand voice. We have an example for FAQs and you don't need to choose all of them. This is just a way for you to pick and choose or cherry pick the ones that you like. You can also add in your own based off of your own research and experience. But here's one example. What are AI UGC generators? AI UGC generators are powerful tools that create user generated style content using artificial intelligence. I think that's a really, really good, powerful kind of paragraph for AI to choose. And let's look at some other examples here. So we have, are AI UGC generators legal to use? Yes, AI UGC generators are legal to use, but there are important and ethical and regulatory considerations. The key legal requirements include, and then it gives us a list format, proper disclosure, avoiding false claims, copyright compliance, and then it also gives a nice little snippet here. This is exactly how I approach it. I always include clear labels like AI generated content or simulated testimonial when using these for tools for marketing purposes. Now this is very powerful. Okay, so the way I would format this example because I actually liked some of them is I'm going to show you how I do it inside of my WordPress website. Uh, my theme is Thrive Themes. I love it. I've been using it for over f almost five years now, but I'm going to add in an extra FAQ here. So the one I liked was the legal consideration. So we're going to add it in here. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and I'm going to turn that into an H3. OK, and then we're going to add that there and then I'm going to add in a table format just like that and stick with this light with icons feature. OK, and then I'm going to go ahead and just manage cells and I'm going to remove a column. All right, so this is looking pretty good. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste the information that we got from Poppy. All right, and there we go. I went ahead and completed the AI search FAQ and it looks really good. We have our uh, table we have, and I think this looks really great. And I'm gonna click on save work and now it's gonna be live on my website. And yeah, I think this looks great. It's uh, optimized for desktop and mobile. Uh, so I have no complaints there. And that's just one way that I rank in AI overviews and search. It's just, again, it's not guaranteed, but it definitely works and it's been working for me. All right, so I wanna show you one last thing and another way that I write my content. This is gonna be using Surfer SEO and Poppy AI together. Surfer SEO essentially is my content optimization tool and it's what helps me understand exactly what I should include in every single one of my articles, such as their keywords, images, word count, now this tool is really powerful. Yes, it's a little bit expensive, but I mean, personally, it's been a huge return on investment for me. I'm gonna use this example for AI side hustles. And this is a content editor that we're inside of right now. We're gonna get a content score in the right-hand corner. 
We're gonna have our words, headers, paragraphs and images on the right hand corner as well. And we can also see all of the terms that we should include in this specific article based off of Surfer AI's data. And then from there, we can go ahead and customize and we can see all of our organic competitors and exactly who we should be competing against. So step number one that I like to do is I like to grab all of the terms that we can use for the article. We're gonna copy all, and then I'm gonna create a text document here and I'm gonna drag it to the side. And I'm gonna say terms to use. I'm gonna add all of those terms in there. Next, we can create a board or a group. And I'm gonna just call this one competitors for topic AI side hustles. And then we're gonna jump into Surfer and I'm gonna click on customize and I'm gonna look at my competitors and add them to this list. So I wanna make sure that they're an article, so that's good. I'm gonna add that into Poppy and I'm gonna drag that into the group here. And I'm gonna do this for all the other ones. Okay, we're gonna add this platform website as well. These are all good examples. These three should be good enough. And then I can also add in maybe some YouTube videos, just in case. There might not be any good ones, but we'll see. So I'll type in AI side hustles here. And this one's pretty good. So this one's new, about two months. It has over 250,000 views. And it says the best AI side hustles to earn $500 per day. So let's go ahead and copy this. And I'm gonna grab that URL and I'm gonna add that in here. I'm gonna actually drop this into this group here as well. I don't wanna add too much information. And what I can do is I'm gonna start dragging and connecting all of these things together so we can start writing the article. I do recommend that you create blog posts section by section because you wanna have a human in the loop instead of just writing articles with one-shot prompts. So I'm gonna be doing section by section. So let's go ahead and try this out together and see what happens. Okay, so here's what I recommend. We're gonna go ahead and create a new chat and I'm just gonna do some simple prompting. And I'm gonna say, help me write an article on the topic AI side hustles. And I'm gonna say first, come up with a blog post title that is less than 60 characters and uses curiosity to attract the click. Okay, and then from there, I'm gonna say, let's focus on the introduction, make it 125 words, add specific semantic terms to include. And I do section by section just like this. Nice, so this is not too bad. We have, are you searching for ways to earn extra money online without quitting your day job? AI side hustles might be exactly what you're looking for. The rise of artificial intelligence has created unprecedented opportunities for entrepreneurs to generate income with minimal startup costs and technical knowledge. Not bad, so I can go ahead and copy this and I can actually add that in here. And our score goes up as you can see. We also need to make sure that we include that title. So we're gonna include that title. And you can see that the score is going up. Our word count is going up. We're including the specific keywords and you wanna do this section by section. So from there, you're gonna to wanna to keep repeating this process as you create your headers and H3s and H4s. You wanna include those FAQs and it's been a powerful method for me and I hope that this helps you. You can also try Poppy AI for yourself. Again, don't forget that I have that code Eddie25. You can try it out for yourself. So as you can see, there's a lot of moving parts but at least with the help of AI tools, we can get there a little faster. If you wanna continue learning about different ways you can use content writing with AI, you can watch this video next and I'll see you there.